How's it going guys? Hope everyone is doing good. This video is just going to be on inflammation. I'm going to go a little bit over acute inflammation, but mainly go over what we all don't really know too much about, which is chronic inflammation. And I mean that in just general terms. Uh, in general, people don't really know too much about chronic inflammation. So that's what this video is going to be going over. So I'll briefly just go over acute inflammation, which generally people are familiar with this. Acute inflammation actually is a, a natural healing process that helps to fight off any infections during a healing process. And overall, it does help to speed up the healing process in itself. And the typical symptoms are redness, swelling, warmness, and pain. As far as chronic inflammation, we do hear about this from time to time, but I'm not too sure if people quite understand it. And I myself didn't even fully understand chronic inflammation, um, even as a massage therapist. And I knew that was really important to really understand it. I understand it to a certain extent, but I didn't really know what was the prime driver behind it, what really caused chronic inflammation. So I personally kind of dived in and did some deeper research as to what causes chronic inflammation. So this is pulling up from sources of like Harvard um, literature and some other studies as well. And so I already knew chronic inflammation was more prevalent in overweight people, but I just didn't know exactly why. So chronic inflammation overall is when there's too much inflammation and it stays longer than what's naturally necessary, the body continues to release white blood cells, which serve as messengers that prolong the process of inflammation, which results into what we know as chronic inflammation. The body perceives this as a constant attack on the immune system, keeps fighting it for however long. Obviously, this leaves us with a compromised immune system as well because it's being utilized to, well, fight off what is known to be a certain attack from this chronic inflammation. When this happens, white blood cells may attack nearby healthy tissues and organs as well. One example is if you're an overweight person, you have more visceral fat cells, which are the fat surrounding your organs. The immune system may find those cells as a threat and attack the cells as long as you're overweight. So literally, if you're obese for years on end, chances are you're going to have inflammation for years on end, hence the chronic part. But it's crazy that you literally need to lose that weight in order to aid yourself into getting rid of chronic inflammation. Like eating right for just a week isn't going to help so much. Like you literally, you need to lose that fat. But overall, chronic inflammation is associated with heart disease, diabetes, cancer, arthritis, bowel disease, Crohn's disease, and even, even ulcerative colitis. And just because it is associated with these diseases, it doesn't mean it necessarily causes them because chronic inflammation can continue for a long time it's not easy to know its exact impact but nonetheless it can obviously of course contribute to the cause of these diseases but it's hard to pinpoint its exact impact for how long it stays i know i repeated that twice but i just really wanted to make it clear so now we know chronic inflammation is more prevalent in overweight people and what diseases it's associated with how can we go about preventing or mitigating or quote unquote even curing chronic inflammation? Well, considering the fact that being overweight increases the likelihood of having chronic inflammation, the best thing to address would be diet and exercises. This will actually help you to lose weight. There isn't an exact diet to follow as everyone is different and may have different reactions to different foods because of allergies. But in general, one should avoid sugary food and processed foods as they are higher in calories and may lead to overeating as they're not broken down the same way. Typically digest faster, leaving one not as full and wanting to just simply eat more. It's recommended to eat foods in high in antioxidant known as polyphenols. Examples of these foods would be berries, cherries, plums, red grapes, onions, turmeric, green tea, and dark leafy vegetables like kale or spinach. And goes to show, because I always hear people talking about cherry juice for inflammation, but I guess now we know why. And so one thing I personally really wanted to know was, does eating sugar turn into inflammation like right away? Do you eat sugar and just right, right away there's inflammation type reaction and it's just, it's there as soon as you're digesting sugar? So what I've read is high sugar intakes do lead to high blood sugar, which is a pro-inflammatory state. So it's not necessary that you eat sugar and it's completely converted into inflammation, but it encourages an inflammation. It encourages something to happen where inflammation will take place. 
And in one study, high glucose promoted the production of pro-inflammatory cytokines. So without a doubt, sugar does cause a direct effect, which may result into a pro-inflammatory response. But I don't think it's fair enough to say sugar itself is a direct causation of inflammation. In technical terms, I think it'd be more appropriate labeled as a sort of precursor for inflammation. And I don't even know if I'm using that word correctly, precursor. But from my understanding, it's sugar, and then there's a middleman, and then there's inflammation. So sugar in itself can cause inflammation, and then eating sugar, you know, possibly promoting weight gain can obviously contribute to chronic inflammation. And if there's already established arthritic sites within the body, this chronic inflammation will only make those arthritic sites even worse. And just as a little bonus, I always thought that dairy somehow contributed to inflammation, but from my research, some people may know this, some people may not, but I'm gonna throw it out there anyway. Dairy does not really cause inflammation at all unless you already have an allergy of some sort, like being lactose intolerant. So overall, the takeaway from this video is that chronic inflammation is caused through over being overweight and um, just not losing that weight for as long as you're overweight, chances are that's as long as you'll have inflammation within your body and having a sugary diet will only contribute to inflammation as well. And it's recommended to eat foods that are rich in antioxidants known as polyphenols, which are berries, cherries, plums, red grapes, onions, turmeric, green tea, and dark leafy vegetables like kale or spinach. And um, what else you could do for chronic inflammation is to simply lose weight through exercise and diet. And sorry, I shouldn't necessarily say weight, but fat. Fat is the main cause of this chronic inflammation. And already did I list all the diseases it's associated with as well. So I hope this video educated or shined some light onto what chronic inflammation is. Like I said, I had a little idea of what it was, but I didn't know the details like I listed in this video. So I hope some people found this um, interesting and useful. And if you enjoyed it, please give a like, you know, maybe share with a friend or even consider subscribing. As usual, it'd be much appreciated. Thank you.